the defending track champion, Austin McCarl. Alongside of Jake Buback, second generation racer here at Knoxville, is famous Father Rich. All right, here we go. 20 laps the distance. Keep one eye on the flagman, one eye on the front row, off of turn four, green is out. Four wide back in the pack, but your race is up front as they work into turn number two. Down the back straightaway, the field begins to shake out. Down the back shoot now, Garrett Williamson yards the field as they work through three and four. He'll bring him around to lead lap number one. Carson McCarl running second, Austin McCarl in the third spot, Brian Brown racing fourth, Kerry Madsen in the running fifth. Now Austin McCarl on the outside of his younger brother, down the back straightaway, brothers McCarl race into turn number three, side by side, through turn number four, Carson on the bottom, Austin to the outside. At the flag stand, Austin by a nose, holds the second spot, here comes Carson back to the inside, he'll take the second spot back off at turn number two. Kerry Madsen moves up into the fourth position. Brian Brown shuffled back to fifth as they work through three and four. Brownie hustling up on the high side of the racetrack as they work off in turn number four. Jake Buback, did Aaron Reitzel, Scott Boguski, Emerson Axum, and a side-by-side -side battle between Jamie Ball and Tanner Holmes. Back up front, Garrett Williamson, nearly a straightaway out over Carson McCarl in the second spot. Austin McCarl still racing third. He goes back to the bottom of one and two. Kerry Madsen, the first man on the high side as they work off in turn number two in car number 55. Oh, your leader spins in turn number four. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Oh, my. Something amiss on the left front of that race car as he goes right into the work area. She's dragging on the frame rail. The shock is hanging. The shock is broken on the left front of that race car. You can see it dangling there. The crew member grabbing it right now. The shock has broken on the 23. Orange cone out on the front stretch. Yellow lights are off, pace truck is in. Again, the crew will keep working. If we don't get a complete lap in, he would be eligible to come back out. So they will continue to work on the car number 23. Carson McCarl, brothers McCarl, Uno and Dos, as they roll through three and four. Off of turn four, green flag is out. Carson back to the bottom. Austin tries the car with the bot the bottom. Carrie Madsen to the top. Here comes Brownie. Three wide off of turn number two. Boguski makes a bold move off the bottom of turn number two. Scott Boguski now up into the fifth spot. Here comes Carrie Madsen. Madsen up on the top of the racetrack as well as they work off of turn number four. Your leader, Carson McCarl, back to the bottom of one and two. Austin right behind him. Here comes Carrie Madsen. Madsen with a huge run down the back straightaway. The madman now looking to the inside for the second spot in turn number four. Austin McCarl on the outside. Here comes Carrie Madsen. Madsen switches lines, goes back to the cushion in one and two. Opens the inside line. Brownie puts the left front up on the inside berm. He'll hold on to fourth. Boguski back there in the fifth position. Aaron Reitzel running sixth. Jake Bubak seventh. Emerson Axum is eighth. Jamie Ball ninth. And Justin Henderson rounds out your top ten. Battle for second in turn number one. Carrie Madsen on the top of the racetrack. Austin McCarl holding on to the second spot. Kerry Madsen looking low, now going back to the top side of the racetrack, trying to find an advantage over the car number 88 of McCarl. Carson continuing to lead as they race down into turn number one. Austin McCarl holding on to second. Kerry Madsen third, Brian Brown running fourth, down the back straightaway. Scott Boguski rounding out. Oh, Brian Brown nearly spins the car in turn four. Look out. Oh, my. Trouble in turn number four. Boguski has damage to that race car. Brian Brown was nearly spun completely out, but he did a nice job of hanging on to it as he came back down the track. Boguski with nowhere to go, clips the 21, and we are under caution. See the wrecker backing up to Brian Brown's car. Here's another look. There's Brian Brown in the middle of the screen. 
just loses the handle as they race into four, oh, and man, oh Maguski comes through there, smokes his right rear to Brian's left front. We'll get one more look at it right here. Oh, man, right rear shock off already. They just about pulled that right rear shock off on the Boguski 10. There's a big gutter down there as well, Tony. This was, we noticed it before, a really big dip down there where Brownie ended up, so that could have been a whole lot worse for the 10 car. Going below the cone or hitting the cone here on the restart. Carson McCarl, the race leader, with 12 laps to go. Austin McCarl is second. Keep your eye on Kerry Madsen in that third spot. Aaron Reitzel running fourth. Jake Buback is strong, running the fifth position off of turn number four. Back to the cone. We're underway. Carson back to the bottom. Austin to the cushion. Kerry Madsen stays on the bottom as well as it worked down the back straightaway. Here comes Austin McCarl. Carson stays on the bottom. Austin working the cushion in turn number four. Your race is for the lead. Side by side down the front shoot. Carson says no at the flag stand. He'll hold on to the lead. Austin continues to put the whip to her on the top of the racetrack as they work off a of turn two. Here he comes down the back shoot. Austin McCarl takes the lead in turn three. Austin McCarl now shows the way over Carson off of turn number four. Kerry Madsen still running in that third spot. Aaron Reitzel racing fourth. Carson McCarl not done. He'll look again to the inside of Austin off of turn number two. Down the back straightaway now. Kerry Madsen goes to the top of turn number three, trying to mount a charge on Carson McCarl through turn number four. McCarl on the bottom. Here comes Kerry Madsen on the top. Madsen follows him in on the inside line at turns one and two. Aaron Reitzel running fourth. Buback, good run for him. He'll ride the fifth spot. Linton Jeffrey off the pace, he'll pull to the infield, we stay green. Meanwhile, Chase Randall working on Emerson Axum. That will be the race for the sixth spot in turn number four. Oh, Chase Randall, look out! Oh, man! Whew. I just about threw up right there. Especially after I, I saw thought Matt Jewell ago. was going to drive straight through. Oh Chase goodness. Randall, what a fine bit of driving by Matt Jewell. Holy cow. Look at how close Matt Jewell was. What a bit of driving. There's Chase's car. He spins around, and here comes Matt Jewell. Oh, oh man. Whew. I lost my breath there for just a second. That was close. And the obvious point, too, was on the left-hand side of the car for Chase, yeah. wasn't it? He was very yeah. exposed. Yeah, one more look at that there. The car just hopped up coming off the corner, and, man, if he's... If he's six inches further up the track, oh. Matt Jewell has no place to go. Good news, though, luckily they did not collide. Chase's car being pushed back to the infield. Maybe, Wade, you can find out yeah. what happened to that one. Looks as though maybe the car is leaning to the left. Correct. I'm not sure. Left front corner, they're taking it straight okay. back to the track. That happened right, right in front of Tanner. And that was a signal to driver's meeting as well. The cone is out on the front shoot. Austin McCarl. Off camera, they were just Slower giving Tanner all kinds of praise that he started 14th and he's currently in 7th. Carson McCarl right there behind him, looking to get back by his older brother. Off of turn number four, we're back to green. Austin back to the top. Carson goes to the inside at turn number two. Kerry Madsen in the third spot, down the back straightaway. Emerson Axum took a look at Jake Buback. Meanwhile, Justin Henderson got by Tanner Holmes on the exit at turn number two. Back up front, the top three begin to pull away as they're side by side now for the fourth spot. Put Aaron Reitzel up into the fourth position as they race into turn number two. Jake Buback back there in the fifth spot. Emerson Axum sixth. Then it's Justin Henderson and then Tanner Holmes. Back up front, side by side for second off of turn number four. Kerry Madsen to the runner-up spot now. He'll shut the door on Carson McCarl at turn number one. Carson slips back into the third spot as they work down the back straightaway. But Austin McCarl has thrown the keys on the counter and checked out. Here in tonight's feature, there is five laps to go. Kerry Madsen in the second spot, looking to go to victory lane here tonight. He would certainly like to get a win in a team he co-owns with Tony Vermeer. Through turn number four, Kerry is closing in on your leader. Down to the inside of turn one, your race is going to be for the lead. Down the back straightaway, Austin McCarl has the lead. Four car lengths back is Kerry Madsen. Madsen to the cushion in three. Austin 
A car went off the bottom. Here comes Kerry Madsen to the outside. If Kerry Madsen wants it, he's going to have to come and get it. Three to go. As they race into turn number two, side by side for the lead in turn two. Down the back straightaway. Austin McCarroll holds the top spot. Kerry back to the cushion in turn number three. Kerry able to get within two car lengths of him on the exit in turn number two. They're side by side down the front chute. Two to go. Two laps to go. Kerry Madsen to the inside. You've got a new leader in turn number two. Kerry Man, Madsen what a has fight the lead. lead. Austin McCarl stays right there with him. McCarl slides back to the bottom. Kerry to the top. They're side by side. This time by White Flag flies. One to go. It's Ooh. Austin McCarl at the line. Kerry Madsen on the bottom. He'll have the lead in turn number two. Austin stays right there with him. Lab traffic ahead. Here comes the race for the checkers. Off a of turn four. Austin goes to the uh, A big move off a of turn number Madsen four. Madsen went too Austin high with it. Carl gets the win. Austin McCarl wow, what a fight for the, the finish. Top of turn four across the bottom to get victory here tonight over Kerry Madsen. Tanner finished eighth. Unofficially. Officially wow. unofficially. Austin McCarl never gave up. Not a bad finish after side starting 14. By side for the lead for the last two laps. He went to the high side of turn four, drove across the bottom, and he got the victory here tonight.